Hi, good morning. Welcome to CoreMoves.com. This morning we're going to do a bar workout. So the only equipment you need is a set of light weights. Now I'm going to try and use 2 kg. I'm going to have a 1 kg set close by just in case the weights get a little bit heavy because our whole warm up and standing series is going to be done with the weights today. Okay, and then we're going to come down to the mat, work through the glutes and the abs a little bit. Um, you also need a point of balance, especially if you're new to bar. Just trying to develop that core strength. It's really good to have something to hold on to so that you don't lose your balance and you can have quality movement rather than just rushing through it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my lighter weights and we can get, let me just place them there on my reformer. Okay, so to start with, as always, we want to find our center. So we're going to stand with our feet in parallel, hip distance apart. I just pull my hair back. So it's lovely and warm today. Sun shining, birds are singing outside, which is very nice. Hopefully spring's on its way. Okay, so feet are hip distance apart, and you're gonna find that center through the whole body. So let's find that equal weight across the four points of the feet. Pulling, drawing the knees up so they're directly over the ankle. Lifting through the quads, finding that connection around the hips. Pulling the pelvic floor up and the belly button in towards the spine. Draw the ribs down and in so that you find that nice connection with the center of your core and focus on that lateral 3D breath. Um, it's hard when we're moving, our heart rate goes up and we want to breathe through our chest, but always try and think about when you're bringing your heart rate back down, really expanding through the side of the rib cage into the back lower lobes of the lungs and then drawing it back in. You want to bring those shoulders down and back, relax the neck and shoulders. So let's just start with just tilting the head to the right and then up to center. And to the left, and center, one more time to the right, and center to the left, center, good. Now we're just going to protract and retract the shoulders. So you're going to reach your hands forward at shoulder height, and then to retract the scapula, you inhale, you slide those shoulder blades closer together. So you can see my arms stay straight, but my shoulder blades come closer together into the midline of my body. And then as I exhale, I reach them back to neutral so they come flat on my thoracic side. Inhale, retract those scapula so they come towards each other and stay down. Exhale, back to neutral. One more time, retraction. Slide them back. And to center. Now we're going to protract. So again, we're going to push those shoulder blades away from each other, rounding across the back of the scapula, widening them. Okay? And then back to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, reaching them away, protracting. Inhale to neutral one more time. Exhale to protract and to neutral. Now we're going to upward and downward rotation. So we're going to reach our hands up overhead, keeping that nice square base on our feet, and then turn our palms to face towards front. Really reach those arms up nice and wide as you circle them in towards your hips and then draw them up again. Slowly with control, keeping those ribs connected, turn the palms forward, reach them up nice and wide and into the hips and again and I apologize for the quality of the video obviously Wi-Fi is pretty busy these days especially now school's back in and everybody's homeschooling so just bear with me hopefully you can see me and hear me all right last time going forward palms face forward reach them nice and wide and once they meet your hips we're going to swim in the opposite direction out wide to the side upward rotation scapula and then bringing them down so we're really focusing on that scapular stability here, making sure that our rib cage is connected using our core, making sure we're finding the weight equally through the whole base of our feet. Our hips are stacked on top of our ankles, our ribs on top of our hips, and we're just waking up those shoulders one more time. Reach them out wide, turn them to face each other, and in towards the hips. Great, grab your weights. So as I said, I'm gonna start off with a heavier weight because I want to get my arms ready for uh, tank top season, but I have lighter weights close at hand just in case. So we're going to start to walk my mat a little bit closer to you from the warm up. So we're going to start with our feet in parallel, our hands are at our hips, and we're just going to start to walk. So as always, we're just springing those feet off of the floor, keeping the pelvis nice and still, waking up that connection with our core, and just lifting the feet off one at a time. Now you can pick your pace here, this is just our warm up, so we're starting out. Also, because we're doing the warm up with the weights today, you can do double time to me and that will pick up your pace and just challenge you a little bit more cardiovascularly, 
or you can slow it down. You can do it half time. So you might only be moving at this pace. Okay, so find your rhythm that works for you. I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. So if I were listening to music, I'd be listening to about 115 beats per minute. Okay, and I'm just marching along to that music. We're going to start to add on the arms. So we're going to reach our arms out straight in front of us at shoulder height. We're going to bring them down and lift, 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 lift. So again, this is here. If, you're, if your weights are too heavy, you'll start to feel that strain straight away. Lift. Also, if you get any clicking in your hip, you might need to just change the rotation of your leg a little bit. Our arms are coming out to a Y. Not a huge Y, and they're just going hip height, shoulder height, hip height, shoulder height. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring them to our shoulders, and we're going to deltoid press. Down, down. Try and have your movements working together. Remember, keep finding that length in the spine. We've got eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, three, I can feel these weights already, two, one, and hold it still, two, we're going to have rotation, three, four, let's spin, spin, so you're, you're twisting the torso on that center axis as those legs keep kicking forward, twist, twist. So remember that corkscrew, twist, twist. Four, three, keeping my elbows at the same height. One, bring it in. Now we're gonna add on. So we're gonna reach it out, pull it in. Out, pull it in. Reach, pull it in. Reach. Four, three, two, one out to the side. Reach it up, okay? So keep marching up, up, up. Really working through those deltoids here. Keep that core connected. Four, three, oh, my arms. Two, one. Now we're going to cross it open, open. Open, alternate, which arm goes underneath each time, and don't just swing them around, or you'll, oh, you'll thrust your ribs forward. So you want to keep that abdominal connection. These are heavy, so I'm losing my breath. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, eight more to the side. Two, three, four, four, three, Two, we're going to tap just on the right. So bring the hands just elbow height 90 degree. And we're going to tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, to the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift the elbows to the right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, to the left. Eight, seven, six. So you're finding that balance on the right leg. Three, two, adding on. So we come to the right leg. You bring those elbows down and back. So we down and back. Down, down, down. Four, three, two, on the left. Down, two, three, four. So you're working your mid back here. Three, Two, push them up, deltoid press, push, walking legs, push, walk, push, walk, and four, three, two, hands are coming back to the hips, one, and walk, two, three, four, four, just the right leg, two, one, walk it, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, just the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring both legs and we're gonna squat. Pull it up, squat, pull it up. So it's that 
plie, make sure your knees are going directly over your toes. Bring it down, and down. These are heavy, down. Four, three, two, one. Pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Turn the wrist to the ceiling, bring it in, and out, in. Three, four, find the back line of the legs as you stand tall from that squat. Four, three, two, one, come down and biceps. Two, three, four, four, three, two, eight, more. Eight, so we're keeping nice and still. Seven, six, Five, belly towards the spine. Two, one, we're going to add on. So we're gonna lunge back with the right. So we're gonna squat, stand, squat, lunge it back. Triceps go back, okay? So it's squat, biceps are in, squat, stand, squat, lunge it back. In, up, down, lunge back, in, up, plie, lunge back, in, up, plie, lunge back, in, four, push it back, three, plie down, belly stays connected, up, down, lunge back, in, up, down, lunge back, in, last one, up, Plie, back and hold. Two, three, make that long line from your heel to your crown of your head. Two, one, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reach it forward, reach it up and back, up and back, up and back. Really find the core here. So you're pulling it in, reaching it out, pull it in, reach it back. In, push it out, in, pull it back. Pull, push, pull, push. Okay, last one, pull, reach it forward, pull it in, push it back. Now from here, you're gonna transfer the weight to that left leg and float that right leg back. Drop your hands towards the floor. Find your balance here. Squeeze the right glute, we're gonna lower and lift that leg. Lift it up. Two, three, four, Four, three, two, slow it down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. We're gonna add the arms. Down, down, open the arms to the side. Down, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Whoop, lost my balance. Up, down, down, last two. Down, down, last one. Down, down, bring it back to that lunge and open the arms wide. Down, open, and down. Three, four, four, three, two, one, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring that leg in and squat and push, plie, push, three, so bicep to tricep, four, four, Three, two, one, push it back, come in and pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, elbows to 90, push it up. Two, three, four, four, three, two, we're gonna add on. So we come down to our squat, pull it in, push it up, bring it down, lunge it back with the left. In. Up, down, lunge it back. In, up, down, lunge it back. In, up, down, push it back. Keep that back nice and straight. Belly pull towards the spine. Pull, lift, pull, push it back. Pull, lift, plie, push it back. So you really find that connection in that right leg. Down, push it back, last one. In, up, 
and down, push it back and triceps, in, out, find that nice long line, two, three, breathe in through that lateral 3D breath, four, three, two, we're going to do eight more, one, eight more, push it, eight, seven, six, five, four, we're going to add on, three, two, one, pull it in, reach it forward, pull it back, kick it back, pull it in, reach, pull, down, bicep, reach, back, tricep, bicep, deltoid, back, push, keep that belly pulled in, back, and push, last two, pull, push, back, back, pull, push, back, now hold them back here, find that weight on that right foot, lift the left, hands come towards the floor, and we lower, and lift, two, lift, three, four, four, from the bum, three, keep the leg in parallel, two, body long, one, lift, now we're going double time, down, down, up, up, slow it, down, lift it, up, add the arms, lift it, up, so arms come down with the leg, lift it up, lift it up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, four more, down, down, lift, lift, down, down, <laughs> lift, lift, last two, down, up, squeeze the glute, find that belly connection, this is our last one, up, now bring the hands down, drop that back, leg and flat, open, close, open, close, three, four, ah, three, my right hip is killing me, one, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring that leg in and bicep curl, squat, bicep curl, Three, four, four, really squeeze the glutes as you come up. Three, two, one, and pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, open the feet to second pulse. Two, three, four, four, three, two, we're going to step out wide. Step it wide and in, wide and in. Y and four, three, two, one, other side, step it out, and in, and in, three, four, four, three, two, one, now to the side, open up, down, other side, down, up, down. So your elbows are coming up to shoulder height. Up, in, in, four, three, two, one. Pulse it in the center, get your heart rate back. Two, three, four, four, three. We're gonna add curtsies, one. So you're gonna step out, step it in. Out, in, out, in. Out, in, four, three, two, one, other leg, step it out, in, two, three, four, four, three, two, back to the right, out, in, out, in, out, in, four more here, four, three, two, stay in the curtsy, one, curtsy in, pulse, two, three, four, four, three, we're going to shift to add to two, one, lean forward, arms come down, pick that leg, the bottom back leg up, we're going to lower, and lift, two, three, four, 
four, say the legs turned out, three, two, one, and pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, bring it down and open, curtsy, open, curtsy, three, four, four, three, two, other leg, bring it out, sorry, back transition, two, three, we're only doing four here, moving to the attitude, arms come down, leg lifts up, 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 and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to curtsy, curtsy, down, second, down, second, Second, and four. This is our last one. Three, two, one, and out. Bring it wide. Bring your legs nice and wide. You can drop your weights down for a minute. Get yourself a drink of water. Let your heart rate start to come back down. I'm just going to slow it down here a bit. Okay, so once you've had your drink, pick those weights back up. Come to a nice, wide second position, nice and low. Knees over toes, belly pulled in. Core nice and long and tall through the spine. Arms come up to our L shape, so 90 degree on either side. And we're gonna just hold. Two, three, four, four, three. We're gonna pick up the right heel. Two, one, and eight. Seven. We're going to drag those knees out to the side. Four. Three. Two. Opening up those hips. One. Lower it down on the left. Two. Three. Keep the collar going nice and wide. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower the heel. Now we're going to reach it over and down. Staying on the right. Over. And down. So don't go over too much because you've got that weight there. You don't want to put a strain in that lower back so you're reaching up to a long angle. If it helps, you can straighten that leg. So you tondu a little bit. Down. Tondu. Otherwise, just stay here and get that. If you have the oblique connection, really reach, keeping the plie nice and low. Last two. Last one. Other side. And down. Reach. Down, pull that elbow down, using your lats and your serratus. Create the flexion using your obliques. Reach, and again, you can time do that leg. Reach, down, but you'll get more oblique resistance if you keep those legs low. Last two, one, pull it in, arms to chest, pulse, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Rotate those toes to parallel, straighten the legs, hinge the body forward, drop the weights, bring your hands to the floor if you can, if not to the back of your calf muscles or your thighs, wherever your flexibility takes you. Draw the elbows out wide to the side and pull the body forward in that nice stretch in the lower back. Breathing deep through the nose, out through the mouth, into that deep lower lobes of the lungs. One more time in. Ribs going out. One more time out. Ribs coming in. This time on the exhale, we're going to roll up. So drop those hands. Inhale. Exhale, roll the spine. One vertebrae at a time. Pulling the belly, using the abdominals to support that roll up. All the way up to standing. Roll those shoulders back. Two. One more time. One. And roll them forward. Three. Nice big gestures with the shoulders. Two, one, and straight down by the sides. Walk those feet in and you can kick those weights out of the way because we are done with those for this workout today. Good, we're gonna come down to our mat now. So stand toward the back of your mat. <clears throat> As always, we want our feet to be hip distance apart. I'm gonna need to move my mat back again a little bit so you're able to see me. Follow me, not that I mind, but see what we get here. <laughs> okay, so feet are hip distance apart. 
And we're going to find that nice length through the whole crown. Pull those ribs down and in. Find that glute connection, not the chin. Rolling it down. One vertebrae at a time. Taking your time. Breathing into that ribcage. Pulling the belly towards the spine. Spiraling the thighs in so they stay parallel. <clears throat> Bend your knees if you need to. Bring your hands to the floor. And we're going to walk it out. Three, two, one. Come to a nice long reach with your arms. And then push your hips back. And we're going to pedal the knees. So just walking your downward dog out a little bit, stretching through the back line of the calves. Push. Four. Three. Keep pulling the belly and pulling the ribs down, pushing the chest towards the legs. Last one. Now bend both knees, look towards the hands. Push that weight forward into your plank. So I have cut myself off. Never mind, so come into your plank. Remember to squeeze the glutes, pull the belly in, up and in. So into like those front arches of your rib cage. Your head is lifted. We're not looking down at our feet, but we're not also looking up the ceiling. So we've got that nice long line, and you think of a slight protraction in those shoulder blades. We're holding it here for four more. Three, two, one. Now lower the knees, uncurl the feet. Push the hips forward, we're gonna do tricep push-ups. So keep that long line from the knees to the crown of the head. Make sure that your hands are in close so they're on, in contact with your mat, and your elbows are gonna drive backwards towards your hips. So our tricep push-ups, our elbows stay nice and close in towards the midline of our body, and our hands start directly underneath the shoulders. So connect the belly, connect the glutes. Here we go, we go down, push away. Two, push, three, push. Four, push it up. Four more. Three, try not to smack your elbows at the top. Two, one, bring it up. Now from here, uncurl your right toe, uncurl your left toe, push those knees back again and hold that plank. Four, three, two, one. Bring the right knee to the mat, the left knee to the mat. You're in your quadruped position, let's do a cat cat. So inhale, use your belly to support that forward tilt, that anterior tilt of your pelvis. So you're really getting that nice walk forward, but your belly's supporting it. Pick up on that pelvic floor, and then lengthen the front of your rib cage away from your hips. Lengthen your upper thoracic back and look forward. Inhale here, exhale, nod the chin, look towards your knees, begin to find that rounding in the upper back, pulling the rib cage back down and in towards the hip bones as your abdominals tilt the pelvis in. One more time, inhaling, tip that pelvis forward, pull the belly towards the spine, lift up on that pelvic floor, and lengthen the front of the rib cage. Lengthen the cervical spine. Exhale, nod the chin. Look towards the knees, push into the floor, pull the belly button up towards the spine and the ribs towards the hip bones. And this time on your inhale, come to neutral. Good, we're gonna come down onto our elbows. So you can either have your arms parallel with your mat, with your fingertips facing forward, or you can draw the hands together and, cla and clasp them. But you want to make sure either way your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Once you've found that nice stability with your elbows, I'm going to keep mine parallel. And then you're going to make sure your knees come underneath your hips so that you have a nice, long, neutral spine. So your eye gaze should be towards your thumbs, and we're going to start to reach through that right leg. So find that stability on the left side. Pull the belly button towards the spine, pull up on the pelvic floor and slide that right leg back. Lift it up to hip height or slightly lower. We don't want to lift it too high because we might arch in our lower back. So we're trying to keep that nice connection and then tilt that pelvis forward so that your hips are square towards the mat. Flex the toes towards the floor and pull the heel in towards the body. So we want a nice 90 degree bend in the knee there and we're going to push it up a little bit higher and release it to hip height. Squeeze it up and release. Three. So our belly's really working hard here to keep the torso stable, the hips parallel, the rib cage parallel, and that movement is just coming from that glute. We've got three more. Release. Two. And one. Now we're going to reach that leg out long and pull it in. Reach it long. Do slow and purposeful movement here so that you really feel that hamstring contract as you pull the heel in. 
and the quadricep contract as you reach it out long. Pulling it in using the hamstring. That glute is on fire, keeping that leg at hip height. Pull it in. We've got three more. Reach and pull. Two. Pull it in. One. Pull it in. Bring the knee back down in line with the other one. Place it down and push your hips back onto your heels. Okay, really find that nice stretch. So glue your belly to your thighs to start with and feel like you're trying to really push your bum down onto your heels. So you get a little bit of stretch in that um, gluteal muscles. And then round the belly away from the front of the thighs and bring yourself back up onto your hands and knees as you articulate back to neutral. Come back down onto the elbows. Palms face the floor. Find that weight on the right leg. Pull the belly in. Find the length and the width from the shoulders. And we're gonna slide that left leg back. Point the toe towards the floor, contract the quad, squeeze the glute, and lift it up to hip height. Now from there, we're gonna bend that knee in to 90 degree, and we're gonna slowly push that heel up towards the ceiling. And release. Squeeze it up. And release. So we're working through our right leg to make sure we don't collapse over to the side. So our hips stay square, our shoulders stay square. If you look down, you'll be able to see that inner thigh working on that right leg to keep you perpendicular to the floor. Push it up. Release, we've got three more. Three, from that bum. Two, one. Now bring it back to that neutral, stretch it out. Use that quad, pull it in, find the back of the thigh. Push it out, pull it in. Bum's working really hard here. Push it out, pull that heel slowly like you're dragging it through the sand, dragging it towards you. Push it out, pull it in. We've got three more. Push and pull, two, pull it in, one, and pull, lower it down and push your hips back to your bum. Stretch your arms out in front of you. This time take three deep breaths here. So breathe, inhale through your nose into the back of that rib cage, letting it expand out to the side. Exhale through the mouth with a little bit of resistance. Drawing that belly button towards the spine. Inhale, rib cage expands out to the side. Exhale. Pulling the pelvic floor up, drawing the navel in. Inhale through the nose, rib cage expands. Exhale through the mouth. Everything draws in and out. One more inhale, and as you exhale, round your belly away from the front of your thighs. Push through the bum, bringing yourself back up into that cat position, and then inhale, lengthen back to your neutral. Good job. From here, we're gonna do one more leg exercise with our abdominals. So we're gonna stay up on our hands this time. You're gonna reach your right leg back, pull that belly towards the spine, contract that right glute, pull the left leg back. Now open the feet up so that they are definitely shoulder distance apart. And we're gonna pull our knee into our nose, rounding through the back, and then push it straight back. So we're just gonna stay on the right side for six. Pull it in and reach for five. Find that length as you reach it back. Pull it in and reach four. Pull it in, reach. Nice, slow, purposeful movements. That's two. Last one. Reach it out, flex that ankle, lower that foot down, lower the knee. The other knee, push your hips back. Reach, inhale, exhale, round up, back to that angry cat, inhale, lengthen back to that neutral. I'm gonna slip forward a little bit. Find that connection on the right leg, slide the left heel back, nice and straight through that whole leg, connect through the glute, slide the right leg back. Inhale to hold, and then we're gonna start to move. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose. Inhale, lengthen long for six. Pull it in. And Pull it in. And four. Abdominals working really hard here. Three. Two. 
reach it out. Flex the ankle, lower the knee, the foot down, lower the right knee, lower the left knee, and we're going to come into a uh, cow. So tilt the pelvis forward on your inhale, the length in the front of the rib cage, lift the chest, draw the shoulders back, and look forward, shine the heart forward. Exhale, this time we're going to tilt from the pelvis first. So tuck that tail under, pull the belly button in, round through that mid back, upper back, cervical spine. Inhale, start with the head. Lengthen the cervical spine, draw those shoulders down and back, use those lats. Lengthen the front of the rib cage, drop the belly, support it with the abdominals and tilt the pelvis forward. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, heels to bum, reach those hands forward. And we're going to come over onto our side. So just drop your hips over to the left side or the right side, doesn't matter. And we're going to bring our elbow directly underneath our shoulder and our fingertips are going to face forward. Our bottom leg is bent, but our heel is as though we've drawn an imaginary line from our head, our shoulder, our belly button, our pubic bone, and then that bottom heel, okay? So we're not bent in too close like this or too far back. We're made, we've made one straight line with our anchor points, and then we're going to reach that top leg away to lengthen through that top waistline, okay? You can bring your hand to your hip, or you can bring it behind your head if your head feels a bit heavy, and we're going to lift that leg up to hip height. From there, we're going to kick it forward, pointing the toe, kick it backwards. So we're going to keep the toe pointed throughout this time, and keep that hip, that leg at hip height. So kicking it forward using the hip flexors and the belly, kicking it back, your belly's still connected, to support your glutes as you stick that leg back. Pull it in and back. Your hand on your hip will help, help tell you if you're swiveling that pelvis forwards and backwards with the movement. Kick it forward and back. Two more. Kick it forward and back. Last one. Reach with the belly, back with the glutes. Now lower it down. We're gonna bring our torso down to the mat. Okay, so you can have your head cradled in your hand, or you can bring your head down to the floor, whatever feels good for you. But what I don't want you to do is to collapse in this lower waistline. So you might be able to see my fingers poking through the bottom of my waistline there. That's because I'm pulling that top hip away, so I get that really nice length through both sides of my waist. Now, your option is to stay here with the knee bent, or if you want to challenge your balance and your glute and abdominal contraction a little bit more, you can straighten both legs, so you're in one long line from your head to your toes. And again, lifting up on that belly. Now, if you tilt forward, you've lost your glutes. If you tilt backwards, you've lost your belly. So you need to find that balance right on top. Hips are stacked, rib cage stacked, belly's lifted, and we're gonna lift that top leg up and squeeze it down. Don't drop it all the way to the floor. Lift it up and lower. Lift, lower. Down, and lower. So my waistline's staying nice and still. I'm not letting it collapse with the lift of that leg. And down. Now we're gonna make circles forward. Up, forward, down, back. Up, forward, and back. Up, forward, down, and back. Last one. Forward, down, and back. Reverse direction. Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back and down, up, down, last one, up, back, and down. Now from here, we're gonna laterally rotate the legs, so it might feel a bit awkward with your bottom leg, but we're gonna kick the toes up to the side, the heels towards the middle, and you're gonna slide your heel up, up your inner thigh, and then kick it up to the ceiling and draw it down. Slide it up, you can point the toe as you slide it up, kick with the pointed toe, then flex it, and drag it down, keeping that waistline long the whole time. Flick it up, kick it down. Three more, slide, kick, flex, bring it down. Slide, kick, flex, bring it down. Last one, slide, kick, flex, and lower. From there, slide that leg in again, and this time drop it on the mat in front of you and bring your head up into your hands if you want to, or keep it down, and we're gonna work that bottom leg. So your top leg, your hip is open, your hips are still stacked, okay? And then we'll go, and you need to just play around with the angle of your foot, 
for what feels good in your hip bone. You might not have that nice ability to open your hips up and so you're closed in a little bit like this. That's fine, but keep that belly pulled in, okay? And then we're gonna pick up that bottom leg, squeezing that inner thigh. So squeeze it up, flex the foot towards your face, lower it down. Keep that foot flexed the whole time. Lift it up and lower. Five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight, more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower it down. Good. Rock that top leg forward, stretch through the bum a little bit and just rest and breathe. And then you're going to pull both knees in so your knees are stacked on top of each other. And we're going to push ourselves up to our elbow. And from here, you're going to rock those knees to like a 40 degree angle so that you find you're on that fleshy bit between the head of the femur and your hip bone. So um, you know, there's like a little fleshy bit in your bum that's between the bony landmarks. So that's where you want to cradle the weight to. Pull the belly button towards the spine, lift the chest, pull the body away from the floor, and then we're going to pick those toes up. So you can have your other hand behind you at a little bit of an angle to support you, or you can reach it up towards the ceiling. And we're going to kick those legs straight, and we're going to hold them. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to lower the bottom and lift. Two, lift. Three, pulling those belly in. Four, four more. Pull, three, two, one, lift it up. Now pull the knees in, reach them out. Pull and reach. Three, four, four. Again, you can bring that arm back. Two, one, reach them out, lower the bottom, lower the top. Bring yourself up to seated. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, stretch forward towards your feet and bring your body into a forward fold, stretching the back of the hamstrings. The lower back, you can pull into the feet to stretch those shoulders a little bit, rotating those thighs in to make sure it's going into your hamstrings. Inhale. And as you exhale, stack the spine up on top of your sit bones, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna swivel our feet around to the other side. So again, we're gonna bring ourselves down so that our heel, our pubic bone, our shoulder are all in one long line. So I'm gonna start up on my elbow like this for our kick forward. So pick up that bottom waistline, get the elbow directly underneath the shoulder. If you have a, a tendency to roll your shoulders in, you might find opening your hand out a little bit to a little bit of an angle will help to just stop you from crowding in on the shoulder, okay? Lift that bottom waistline, pick up that top leg, keep that toe pointed, both waistlines on, and we're going to kick it forward, and back, forward, back, reach, pull that belly in, squeeze the glute, so make sure both the bum and the abdominals are working equally, so you don't tilt forward and backwards in the torso here. Last two, reach. Last one, reach it back, come to center, lower down, now lengthen the bottom leg to meet the top, bring your body down, either head cooped in your, uh, scooped in your hands, or down long like, like this, I like my long hand in front of you for support, pull up on that bottom waistline again, you might be able to see my fingers, but you want both sides of your waistline to be long. So a good way to think about that is if you put your hand on the top of your iliac crest, on the top of your hip bone, you float the top leg just a little bit, and then feel like somebody's pulling your toe away from you and you're pushing that hip away from your shoulder. You'll see instantly that you start to engage your lower belly. Okay, and then you need to find that glute on your bottom leg, contract that bottom leg, and we're gonna lower and lift, okay? So laterally rotate the legs, reach it up. Oh, sorry, just oh, open and close first. So stay in parallel, lift it up and close. Two. Three, I was rushing ahead there. From the side of the leg, four. So you're staying in parallel. Four, three, we're gonna move on to leg circles. Two, now hold it up, kick it forward, bring it down, bring it back, 
up, forward, down, back. Squeeze the glute. Make sure the movement is coming from all those muscles around the hip, forward, down, and back. Last one, up, forward, down, and back. Change direction, forward, up, back, down. Make your circles as fluid as you can. Try not to just draw a box. Forward, up, back, and down. I kind of cue it boxy so I don't lose count. Back and down. Last one, forward, up, back, and down. Now from there, laterally rotate those legs. So heels together, toes apart, okay? I'm gonna slide the toe in, kick it up, flex the ankle, drive it down. So again, you can be propped up on your elbows, get, but keep both waistlines long. Flick, flex, bring it in. Slide, so we're doing our developé here. Reach it up, flex, bring it in. So find that opening in the hip as you drive that knee up towards the ceiling. And then really keep that opening straight, stretching through the hamstring, flex that heel, dragging it in using those inner thighs. Slide it up, flick, flex. And lower, last one, slide it up, flick, flex, lower. Now from there, slide it up, bring that foot in front of you onto the mat and either keep the hip open or close it in a little bit but keep the waistline long, okay? We're going to work that inner thigh of the bottom leg. So flex your right toes towards your face and your bottom leg, the toes towards your face. And then you're going to use your inner thigh to squeeze it up. Make sure that you're not on your greater trochanter, so you might need to roll slightly back if you've got bony hips, okay? And then you're gonna lower and lift. Lower, lift. Squeeze it in. So you're using that inner thigh, squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, we're gonna pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, Five, keep hugging that belly in. Two, one, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Bring the other leg to meet it. Bend both knees in. Push into the floor with your left hand. Slide the elbow in underneath the, uh, underneath the shoulder. Connect the knees. Rock the weight back onto the fleshy bit of your bum. Find that connection on the inner thighs and in the belly and pick those knees up. Again, hand towards the ceiling or gently behind you. We're going to reach those legs up long and lower and lift the inside leg. Bring it down. Pull it up. Two. Lift. Three. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift it up. Pull them in. Reach them up. Pull. Three. Four. Four, three, two, one, reach it out, bend the knees, lower the knees down, slide the right knee in front of the left, give that hip a little bit of stretch, you can even stretch your inside leg down nice and long. Then stack the knees on top of each other, push yourself up to seated, we're gonna sit in a mermaid position, so we're a zigzag with your right knee in front of the left knee, Sat up nice and tall, push your hands into the front of the knees, inhale, lift the chest, give yourself a little bit of a gentle extension in the spine, exhale, pull the belly back, round it forward, look towards the belly button, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, come to neutral. Now from there, bring your left hand out towards your left ankle, we're going to float the right hand up towards the ceiling, inhale, reach it up, exhale, flexing it over, inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, lower the hand, other side. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, reach up and over. Inhale, breathe into the top of that rib cage. Exhale, bring it up. Lower the hand one more time. Inhale, hand comes up. Exhale, flex it over. Inhale, breathe into the top of that right rib cage. Exhale, coming up, lower the hand. Lift, breathe it in and exhale over. Inhale to hold and up. We're gonna swivel those feet around. So the easiest way to swivel your feet is to push the toes into the floor, pick the knees up, and then just rock them over to the other side. So obviously then I wouldn't be facing you, so I'm just gonna swivel around like that, okay? But you wanna zigzag again, you wanna try and push both hip bones into the floor. 
If you find you're really tight in one hip, so I find my right knee is a wee bit tight, then you can always prop your left hip up a little bit onto a rolled up towel or a yoga block if you have one to just try and get those hips more level, okay? And we're gonna start again, right hands towards the right angle. Ankle, you're gonna float the left hand up, reach up and over, breathe into the top rib cage. Lengthen, lower the hand, inhale, reach it up, exhale, over, inhale into the ribs. And up, lower the hand, one more time, lift it up, up and over. Lengthen and lower, last one, up, reach it over. Lengthen and lower, and you're done. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, we worked a lot for our abdominals while we were doing our planks and our side leg series, so we didn't do any ab specific exercises today. Make sure you stretch yourself out, especially through the arms, you know, doing a lot of cardio movement with your arms um, can just change the way you use your muscles. So take care everybody, stay safe, and we'll see you again later this week.